Hey guys, it's Eltoondex here, and today I just wanted to talk about some MagSafe car accessories. Specifically, we have the Belkin Car Vent Mount Pro with MagSafe. This is the official um, car mount that's uh, supported by Apple. And then we also have the ESR Halo Lock Magnetic Wireless Car Charger, uh, which also serves a similar function for mounting your phone in your car. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so first off, we have the Belkin Car Vent Mount Pro with MagSafe. Um, let's take a look at the build quality here. Uh, the top part here, it's a nice little rubber material here that feels soft, so it won't scratch your phone. Uh, this plate here um, is plastic, so it does feel kind of cheap, um, not premium at all. Um, it is connected on a swivel here um, to the back connector here. And it's, it's pretty stiff here, so there's lots of good movement, but um, it won't be loose and move around when you drive your car. Uh, at the end of the swivel, there is a um, rubber piece here that connects to your air vents in your car, and it's pretty tight here, so uh, it'll, it'll be a good, good fit on your air vents uh, when you put it on. Uh, also, you can note that uh, once you attach your phone on here, um, please use a MagSafe case or um, or no case at all, so it sticks to the magnets in your phone. Um, it sticks on pretty tight, so you can actually shake it a lot and it doesn't fall off um, the car mount. Uh, please note, you can also rotate this horizontally, like so. So you can actually view your uh, navigation or whatever it is in your car horizontally as well. I think most people would tend to view it vertically, so uh, most people will be leaving it vertically attached to your air vents in your car. Also do note, uh, this is all that comes in a box. Uh, it's the mount itself, and on the mount, if you look around the sides, uh, there is no opening uh, ports or anything for charging. Uh, you basically have to put your phone on, and then you would just insert your cable down here uh, into directly into your phone. They do say there is some uh, bit of cable management here for this mount, and uh, by that they mean you can wrap your cable around this um, edge right here. There's a little opening between the little rubber part and the, the swivel right here. So you can just wrap your cable around this area here and then connect it to your phone, the bottom of your phone here. Uh, before mounting into your car. Um, I personally don't like wires hanging uh, in, the, in my car, so if I were to use this, I would just use this strictly as a MagSafe mount uh, for my navigation for Google Maps. Overall, this is a very clean design. I'm not really sure why they call it a, a Pro model, because it literally doesn't have anything else. There's no ports or anything else. It's just basically a flat panel for you to connect to that's made of plastic. Um, and a um, decent uh, connecting swivel here uh, that connects to your, to your air vents. Uh, so overall, it, it looks clean. It, it looks very nice. Um, the premium feeling, it's, it's kind of half and half, uh, depending on what you like about the materials. Uh, but overall, I think this does uh, do its job fairly well. You just attach it to your air vents, slap on your phone, um, and your phone is stuck on there pretty tight. It, it won't fall off. So. Okay, up next we have the ESR Halo Lock Magnetic Wireless Car Charger. This is ESR's take on what a MagSafe car mount would, should look like. Uh, you'll notice that this is in a plastic uh, frame here uh, with a smooth, glossy uh, charging magnetic coil in the middle. If you look on the sides, uh, there's an indicator light here and there is also an indicator light here as well. And if you look on the bottom, there is actually a USB-C port and also uh, two air vents here. These two vents are supposed to help dissipate heat uh, when you're charging. Um, so this car mount actually includes a USB-A to USB charger. Uh, you basically plug the USB-C side in here and it will charge this pad and you can put your phone on top of here to charge your phone. Uh, let's look on the back. Uh, you'll see this is the connector here. This is what it comes like out of the box. You basically just unscrew this um, thin cap here and you take this and you put it through the cap and basically you stick the little ball inside uh, the hole there and you screw the cap back on. And then you can screw the cap on tightly uh, with the ball locked inside the hole 
and basically that becomes kind of like your swivel here that you can move around. Um, the plastic bit here, you can just push down and this helps, helps clip onto the air vents in your car. And this bottom part kind of helps stabilizes the, the mount in your car. Uh, there's a little bit of rubber piece here to help, uh, help it mount against your, your dash. So basically this is how it goes on. You can slap your phone on. You either need a MagSafe case or a Halo Lock case from ESR or just use your uh, iPhone 12 with no case on so that it attaches to the magnets. Uh, this also is very strong as well. Uh, just like the Belkin car mount, uh, you can shake it however much you want. It won't fall off. Uh, but for this one, you basically can plug into your phone directly or you can plug into the charging pad directly as well. So uh, since there's a port for the charging pad, I recommend plugging it into the uh, charging the car mount uh, directly with your charging cable. Just like the Belkin with this car mount, uh, you can also rotate horizontally as well if you wanted to watch anything horizontally in landscape position uh, for your phone. Uh, also, I mentioned that there are two um, heat dissipation vents down here. There's also two more up here as well. Overall, this car mount actually looks really sleek. Uh, it's black, so it matches a lot of the car interiors these days. Um, and this one actually has a lot more function than the Belkin car mount. There's indicator lights to tell you when it's on and it's charging. Um, there's actually a USB-C port. There's heat dissipation vents across the top and bottom. And even the mount itself, um, there's a degree of flexibility here where you can um, adjust this clip uh, along with the bottom clip here as well. And overall, this just feels like a very nice car mount. Um, it's, it's actually really premium feeling. Here are both car mounts side by side. You can see they're somewhat similar in size. Uh, the Belka one is a little bit more form fitting to your phone, a little bit more vertical, uh, whereas the ESR one is a little bit more, more squarish. So you see the size difference there and the thickness. So in terms of just uh, aesthetics, I think the Belkin one may be a little bit more um, good, better looking, um, but the ESR one does have uh, more functionality. Here are both car mounts with two different uh, iPhone 12 Pros mounted. You can see the difference in thickness of each plate. Uh, overall, both of them hold up very well. So it's gonna really be down to personal preference, which one you wanna use, uh, but they both perform the same function. All right, so I have both car mounts connected to the air vents in my car. Uh, let's look at the Belkin one first. You see that I have it connected to a cigarette lighter here, and it's mounted to the air vent. Uh, let me show you what the mount looks like. Uh, so basically it's mounted in and then I tried to wrap some of the cable uh, around uh, the back edge there where there's supposedly a cable management uh, spot for it. Um, with the Belkin car mount, uh, it actually still moves around a little bit uh, vertically up and down uh, when it's put on your air vent. Um, that's not something I really like. It seems to fall down quite a bit. Um, but you can tell that once I put my phone on, it kind of stabilizes just a little bit when it's mounted on. Uh, it's on here pretty tight, doesn't move, but you still have that little bit of give. So if you don't connect it um, properly to your air vent, it does have a little bit of a up and down movement. So uh, let me show you, for example, if I take this out and I plug this in, you see how it kind of just moves up and down. Uh, that's something that I, I don't really like. Uh, but you can connect your phone here and then take the lightning cable here and then you just connect it directly to your phone and it will charge. There you go, the cable is plugged in and it's charging. Uh, not exactly the best cable management, um, doesn't look good to me at all. But there you have it. Now moving on to the ESR mount. Uh, I actually like this mount uh, quite a bit more. It clips onto your air vent right there, but it also has this bottom piece uh, 
that kind of touches your dash to help with the stability uh, for your car mount. So with this car mount, it doesn't really go up and down like this because it's kind of locked in here by this. So it doesn't really move at all compared to the Belkin one. Uh, you also see that I have the charging cable connected to the cigarette lighter on the bottom here and it's connected directly to the USB-C port on the bottom uh, of the charger. So for this one specifically, all you have to do is place your phone on top and it mounts on and it charges right away. And it's pretty good. I like this one a lot. Um, just judging from these two, um, I actually kind of like the ESR, ESR one better. Uh, it's black, it matches with my dash, and it's uh, just more functionality in general. And I think it looks really good. The mount is a lot better, it doesn't move. Whereas this one, it doesn't have the bottom piece, so it kind of still moves up and down. So uh, if you have a heavier phone, especially if you have the iPhone 12 Pro Max, this is definitely gonna sag down. Whereas this one has a little bump on the bottom here. Um, this will help stabilize your, your mount um, very well. So, all right, I hope you catch you guys in the next one. Peace.